So good morning. I'm going to proceed with um, lesson four, part two, activity and gun chart. So we now go for work breakdown structure or WBS. So from your plan, from your project plan, then you break down that to phases and sub-phases, right? And there are um, deliverables and sub-deliverables of that deliverables. So this discussion is just a continuation of our previous lesson. Here is more break. Here is more on breaking down projects into compartments and small parts has been discussed previously. WBS or work breakdown structure organizes and defines the total scope of the project. The project is broken down into hierarchical order, like you can have level one, two, three, or if there are a lot of levels and you can go down until how many levels you want or depends upon the project. So WBS subdivides the project into, into smaller and more manageable pieces of work with each descending level of the WBS representing an increasingly detailed definition of the project work. So I'm going to present to you later a level three project. It has three levels. So as, as, as described, every time the project descends to a lower lab level, mas daga na siyang detalye kung unsa buhato ni mo sa project. It means from broad, to specific, representing an increasingly detailed definition of the project work. So level three represents the most detailed deliverable description if level four probably or level five depends, but usually it has three levels. When creating a WBS, decompose a deliverable into sub-deliverable by project phase. So decompose meaning um, hima yun pa jod. You may include all the project phases or focus on certain areas depending on the scale and complexity of the project. So you have to consider the approval and scope, the design, construction, testing, and implementation. So when you decompose, you have this into sub-deliverables in terms of design, construction, and implementation. Now we go to design. So what sub-deliverables are required in terms of design to prepare for construction? So you have to consider that. Functional design document, detailed design document, or RFP, or an example for this is interior design, electrical plans, light, lighting design. So if you if you himay himay this and put it into specific, in terms of interior design, you have to consider what is the color of the master's bedroom, the color of the bedroom of the interior design of the children's bedroom, not just the more specific, the female child, the male child, or the toddler, or in terms of electrical plants, if you still break down in break it down more, you might want that uh, how many, how many lights, how many switch for certain lights, how many outlets, or what are the necessary volts? Do you have appliances that is 110 or 220? Or lighting design? Do you want the lighting design like a chandelier or you, have, you want the lamp to be warm or daylight um, design? Like a puti ragani or other specific design that is considered as your sub-deliverables in the work breakdown structure. So you have to consider that. Next is, so another is, so this is already a, a, a continuation. So what sub-deliverables are required in terms of design to prepare for the construction? Functional design document. Detail. Again, guys, as you can see, document, document, document. Documents are really important, especially both, both soft and hard document. Next is go now with the construction. What sub-deliverable to be made to contribute to the overall delivery, like the building project? External fencing, street cover. What if you specify the external fencing? What type of fence? Do you want it to be just all um, hollow blocks and cement? Or do you want to have a grills design or whatever? So 
school concert. So would you have to do the necessary tickets, posters, websites, band contracts, among other. I think this is this concert is part of your performance task, right? So you already know how to do that. And you already know how to make a work breakdown structure and consider all the um, acts of nature or acts of man risk and other fortuitous events. And then of course the implementation. So example, a restaurant, soft lunch. That's why you have, you have probably you have tried walking downtown and there are soft opening uh, and then grand opening. Soft opening is they are trying to catch the market. And then they have already, of course, when they have already know what the market desires during the soft opening, then they do the, the final opening. That's why they're in the final opening, they already know, they already finalized the food tasting, the chefs, and among other crews of that um, restaurant. So that's on implementation. So this is a sample of a three-level project. So as you can see, level one, level one, level one, level two, level three. I hope this is clear on your screen. But anyways, I'm going to give you a copy of this. So this is an example. Huh? And each level, as you can see, na siya ginabuhat dira kada level two. So as you can see, level one is the overall the project or the name of the project, your overall deliverable. Level two, your phases, and level three, your sub phases, okay? So activity planning, each sub deliverable is a deliverable for that phase. Some deliver deliverables are prerequisite of other de deliverables. That's why, um, as, as I said in the first part, there are things that you need to, there are activities and part of the project that should be done first before you can proceed to the next project because these um, deliverables are prerequisite and you cannot finish the project or you cannot proceed to the next step unless you are done with this. And then list the activities required to achieve the deliverable. So sequence the activity, um, prerequisite of the activity. So these are the things you have to consider. And then definition, defining the activities involves identifying the deliverable at the lower level in the WBS level three, which is called the work package. So decompose work package packages into smaller components called activities to provide a basis for estimating, scheduling, executing, monitoring, and controlling of the project work. And then of course, document the work that is planned to perform. So technically, from your broad deliverable and then your subface, uh, your face and then your subfaces, you have to have, you have to identify your deliverables and decompose it into smaller activities. And then not just decompose it, document it and, and know what are the estimation for how long is this to be done, how, how are you going to monitor and control it. So mura siya, kasi mundo ko nga project, naghimo ka gagmay, gagmay nga mga project. And these projects are called activities, and each activities have deliverable, and some of these deliver, deliverable are prerequisite to the next activities and the next deliverable. So I hope this is seen. So project break down into levels and provide with activity definition. So level one, I hope I can you can see the the cursor I'm pointing. So level one, you know, the project name. And then level two, the, the phase, you have the planning design, the execution, the testing and implementation. And within that, napadudchay, lain ng mga develop project plan, submit project plan, napay mga activities within planning and design. Within execution, napadud. And within that, napadud, himay himay padud nga in the in the right of your screen, activity definition. So, sa develop project plan, iya pa jonggi, specify. Mm -hmm. Project managers creates a preliminary scope statement. I mean, you go to execution, project kickoff meeting. Project manager, so this is actually an example on how you're going to do with your 
with your um, output. Levels one, two, three were identified during the formulation of the WPS. Level three or the work package are the breakdown into smaller activities. Now that we have already developed the WBS and activity plan, then you can make now the Gantt chart. So how you're going to make the Gantt chart? First, we have to identify what a Gantt chart is. So a Gantt chart is commonly used graphical depiction of a project schedule. It's a type of bar chart showing the start and finish dates of project elements such as resources, planning, and dependencies. Actually, I mean, you are rather familiar with this already because you are doing Gantt chart for your feasibility study, right? So Henry Gantt, um, he was born in 1861, died in 1990. He is an American mechanical engineer. He is the one um, who designed the Gantt chart. So it is a visualization that helps you or the organization schedule, manage, monitor specific tasks and resources in a project. It is consists of tasks. It is, bar, it is bar depicting each task, most widely used in project management, Have, um, used by heavy industries for projects like building dams, bridges, highways, as well as software development, and building out of other goods and services. So actually, this is a very versatile chart. So the Gantt chart. Gantt chart is a tool for graphically presenting. So deliverables, activities. In a Gantt chart, there are deliverables. So activities will have deliverables. Delivery dates can be represented as milestone. Example of deliverables, probably document, project plan, test criteria, summary of test result, communication template. So deliverable belongs to level two. Deliverables are level two WBS shown in the next. So this is now your level two deliverable. Next, activities. For each large deliverable, one can have preparatory activities, design, task, execution, review, testing, implementation. So an example for this is validate project plan, get approval, create process map. So in our table, that is your activity. Develop plan. That is under planning design. So the deliverable is planning design. And then the activities is develop project plan. And then submit project plan. Install development system. So those are the activities. Next is scheduling. Start and end date, end dates for various activities. Examples. So in scheduling, you can have yearly, you can have weeks, depends on the type of project you, you are working on so you are you have to specify that the start the by a project has a specific start and a specific end okay so you have to put it in your gun chart that it will start on let's just say for example given here is july and the activity duration is in weeks so you have to put it in weeks so here this one can answer scheduling dapat na specific definition pag-unsa mo and as you can observe per level, so level one, broad pa siya. Then slowly breaking them down into segments. Okay. As we have discussed, ang project na himay-himay, na ay deliverables and smaller projects na part sa whole. Mong importante nga na ay gun chart. Para mabalan, asa na mo dapit. Okay. Na may uban nga deliverables nga you cannot make the next deliverable if you are not done with this. And that is what you call the prerequisite just like your subjects that you have you cannot proceed to the next subject unless you have taken up its prerequisite because um as i i, I repeatedly repeatedly discuss it will create a greater risk on the on the project if you are uh, you do you do if you do not do first the prerequisite na kanin siyang activity definition pwede na siya ang imong gibutang did sa sa imuhang gun chart na pun or imo na siyang ihimay-himay sa gun chart. So this is an example of a gun chart. So the reference is from Wikipedia. Yeah. So you have the task name, your predecessors. What do you mean by predecessors? These are those um, activity that is done before the next. From the word pre, prior. 
left side, so activity, activity description, start and end date, resource to work. So on the right side, that is your graph na. So as you can see, na ay mga month, na ay kanin siya, days na siguro rin siya nga. You can see days na siya. So yung ibutang, man, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, days of the week. Kung weekly siguro rin siya, week po na yung ginabutang. So on the right side, the graphical view of activity period, resource name, lines to show critical path and milestone. Actually guys, there are software that is for gun chart lang dyan siya. But resourceful man mo, resourceful raman ta, we use Excel. Diba? So, kanin ilaha dere, ilang sa sample, ilang gigamitan is software. Sa inyo ha, inyong gigamit is uh, more on um, Excel. Which is okay raman good food. Kaya at least, um, mahimu or mangyapon po ninyo inyong mga milestone, inyong mga activities and the likes. So, as you can see, there are periods. So, this period is in days. Some mid-size are in weeks. Some in months or even years. So, large project goes to six months. High-level activities presented in months. Next-level activities presented in weeks. So, there are activities that are presented in days, months, weeks, um, even years. Especially if these are huge projects like creating a dome or and the likes. Or preparing for Olympics, just like the what Japan did. They do not prepare it in just a year or seven weeks. No, they, that those are big, big projects. And it needs to have a detailed um, preparation. And it does not take weeks. So those are large projects. It takes months and even years to prepare and complete so this is this is probably the end of my discussion on gun chart and i believe you as i discussed this you are already applying doing gun chart with your feasibility study so this is the end of my discussion these are the references thank you and have a good day okay,